Welcome to an introduction to AppFrame. AppFrame is our technology framework for developing PIMS application as well as tailored solution for clients. AppFrame provides you with a set of efficient tools for developing web, Windows and mobile applications. When we decided to develop a framework, uh, the key components for us was to be able to standardize, automate and being able to collaborate on the code. If we look at AppFrame and in the database. So the database is one of the key components where we needed to implement security. And we decided to implement security around isolation of data as well as role-based access. So you have a standard concept for creating a domain that holds your data. And then you have roles which has access into that domain. That's how you get table row permission. So if you have a table with data from 10 different domains or projects, but you have users only needing to access or you only want to grant access to only one of 10 domains in that table, you get that. So domain permission and isolating of data is key into AppFrame. And AppFrame provides this automated so whenever you develop a new set new application or extend application with some new tables in the database you get this security automated throughout the process of creating the object you can extend the permission and security layer on top of the basic security which makes it very flexible so whenever you need to fine grain security within an application you have the possibility and this is a good example if you look at some of the PIMS modules, which has much more fine-grained security on certain key data that might be classified as confidential, you need extra layer of security. Next uh, part in AppFrame is the access layer and the API. So you have authentication and your CRUD operations. That's two things you want to be standardized in an application. So we developed default authentication methods that's supported by default. So whenever you develop a new application, you get these authentication methods within uh, it. We support SQL authentication, Windows, integration, uh, Windows integrated authentication, Azure Active Directory with Office 365 authentication, Google authentication, and then we support SAML protocol which means that if you want to integrate into a different identity provider which supports SAML, you can extend the authentication as well. And that's also a key concept for being future-proof as, well, as well as flexible to be able to extend into new authentication protocols. So there is in place concept for this. When it comes to CRUD operations, that we automated as well. So whenever you need to add something to your data model, you can consume this automatically in your front end. You do not need to go into the API and the back end and add the function or the field name in the database that you added. That's automatically consumed in the front end application. So when you sit in your Windows application or Flutter application or web application, you get access to the new field that you added in the database instantly and you can utilize that in your application. That's key because that's plumbing. Copy pasting of that and, and doing, you don't want to do that. You want to get that field into the application and build, up, build it. Third component uh, is components itself and templating. Uh, uh, like navigation bar, the login form, menu. You want certain components off the shelf that you can start using. But it's not rigid in terms of you, you can design them yourself. So from AppFrame, you get a set of components and templates that you can build upon. But there are certain components that AppFrame holds and like a data grid, daytime picker, lookup, etc. So there are certain components that we see we want to reuse throughout many of the applications then we have standardized and created components of them. So we have one source code 
increases the quality and efficiency and makes it more stable. If we look at the timeline of AppFrame and Omega development, throughout the 30 years, it started with Microsoft Access, both as the client and server, migrated over to SQL Server, still access as the front end, then started with WinForms and Microsoft.NET from front end, still SQL Server as back end, web, went through ASP.NET web forms, transition over to now vanilla web technology with HTML, JavaScript and CSS. In the latest year, our API has been developed with Microsoft.NET as well as our mobile framework throughout Google Flutter. We moved from uh, traditional hosting to more cloud efficient hosting through Microsoft Azure. If we go a bit deeper into our technology. So, as I mentioned, Microsoft SQL Server has, is the database technology. In the access layer and the API, it's Microsoft.NET. On the client, utilizing .NET again on Windows with DevExpress tool, tools for a web, vanilla HTML, JavaScript, CSS. But we are utilizing different JavaScript libraries, CSS frameworks as well. Power BI can be used. There are no limitations or restrictions around using kind of consuming data from the API from AppFrame. So you can use Power BI to build a report or dashboard throughout the data you have in your solution. Then we support Microsoft Azure as a cloud platform, but we are not requiring it. So if you want AppFrame set up on your local PC, on-prem server, or in Google or Amazon cloud solutions, we fully support that. There are some key features in AppFrame where you choose to use dedicated Azure services, which benefits from that technology, but you're not required. You can use a secondary part as well. This goes for file store, for example. You can utilize Azure Blob file store, but you can also store files locally in standard file share. So in uh, our architecture, data layer, access layer, and the presentation layer, as again in the data layer, it's Microsoft SQL Server, file store in blob or file share. But in the database, that's where the security is in AppFrame. That's uh, implemented in the data layer. And you want security to be in the database so your applications can change. So you can have an integration, you can have a Windows application, web application or mobile application accessing the data and you know that it's the same security being applied. When that said, there are a security layer in the access layer as well, securing you from, you have the authentication, the authorization of the application itself. We have SQL injection, cross-site scripting, all those vulnerabilities that uh, are available through the UWASP top 10 program, we have a mitigation against. In the presentation layer, the numerous clients that you can use to connect um, to the solution. While in Azure, we have built a backup services, a replication, as well as a cloud management program around solution hosted in Azure. So we are benefiting from the Azure services when the hosting environment is Azure. But again, it's not required. If we look at development of uh, applications in AppFrame. We have created a web application ID as a web application, which means you can use any device from anywhere and it is ridiculous fast to develop a web application. You develop new application, modify existing uh, applications in that e ID. We support multiple environments, so you can have a dev test production environment in three different environments, or it could be in one same environment so we have a concept for deploying updates throughout the environment. In order to show you how fast it, this could be, so if you imagine you have all the environments in one, so you have test and production that's built into AppFrame. So you have a concept where your application is in test mode, your users accessing that mode will see application A, and then you have your production application B. 
whenever you change your application, the application A, change, hit save, click publish, you ask the user in the production mode to hit F5, refresh that web app, he has that change. That's how fast it is. Save, refresh, you got it. When it comes to database development, we have also developed a database manager as a web application, but you can also use SQL management server for development. Uh, but we have some goodies uh, built into the database manager, some good IntelliSense, some good uh, snippets of code, etc. that is not possible to do in the management studio. But there, again, there are certain tools in the SQL management studio that you want to use in order to and more, more like performance, for example, you want to use execution plans, etc., in the tooling from SQL Management Studio. Code modules, that's an extension to our access layer and the API. Written in C sharp, Microsoft.net. So whenever you need to extend your backend, your API, that's your solution. You build a code module that could be either uh, an extension to an API, but it could also be uh, an integration with a third party, which does not support connecting to a REST API or any other API. We need to develop a custom endpoint for them to consume data or send us data. You can do that through a code module, or if you want to extend your web application to consume data from a third party service, you do that through a code module. It's very flexible and there are basically no limits for what you can do in that code module. When it comes to uh, Windows application and mobile application, you use Visual Studio for Windows applications and you use Visual Code for Google Flutter applications. When we go into apps, uh, and we'll show you a bit the different types of apps that uh, has been developed with AppFrame. Traditional web application utilizing DevExpress web components, like here, a pivot, pivot grid and with a connected chart. You have a dashboard where you use high chart graphs with uh, the CSS styling for getting a nice um, looking dashboard. If you have a table that where you want a table and charting within each row, that's possible. In Windows application, you want some traditional grid components for easily import, export, sorting, etc. There's an example of the Windows application. Uh, also, web application with a grid. As I mentioned, we have a dedicated grid control in AppFrame. In this example, you can see there's a column called VBS, and under VBS, you can see there is a, a filter button. You can click on that filter button and you get the distinct values within the data set for column VBS. That's a typical feature that you want in each grid and you, want, you don't want to develop this for each application you do, that's you want to have standardized. So our grid components combine all of those functionality that we have seen that we need to reuse, um, drag and drop of columns, resizing them, changing the order of them, saving the layout, having importing from Excel, exporting to Excel, copy paste, that's functionality that we have built into the grid, so you can just consume and use it. Using Power BI inside uh, an AppFrame application, uh, Power BI has a, a framework, uh, an SDK in JavaScript for extending, so you have an iframe and you integrate it uh, in your application to see and consume a report or a dashboard. That's in this example and it's fully possible. There is no limitation here again. And then the last example here is a 3D viewer of uh, card drawings, which is also uh, something you can develop. Integrations, there is different ways of integrating between your application and another application. It could be database to database. You can connect to FTP or SFTP, connect to an API, or like in the Power BI example, consume it in um, iframe. We have uh, lots of integrations uh, throughout the one you see in the list uh, where we developed with clients. So if we look at uh, a wrap up around what is AppFrame. So AppFrame is a framework that we have built 
in order to develop PIMS applications and tailored solutions for clients. Key was to standardize on components and templates, authentication and CRUD operations, and having a base security model that ensures securing of data based on role-based access to provide that table role permission. It makes it easy then to develop uh, Windows web mobile applications for you. You can develop them ridiculous fast, which is the best thing with AppFrame, it's really fast. You develop the application really fast. That's one of the key. You want to do the development, call the user, say, do a refresh, see was this how you wanted it. You want that interaction with the user immediately. You don't want to develop, push, wait, 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 and then do something. That you might want in a rigid production environment where you want to go through development, testing, and production. While in testing or in development, you want it to be really fast, agile. Uh, we use known technology, that's a key uh, benefit as well. We don't want to use technology that is not known or very special. We want those trusted technology vendors like Microsoft SQL Server, .NET, Vanilla, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So, you end up doing what you love. It is developing applications and not doing a lot of plumbing before you can develop application. And that's the key concept of AppFrame. Do what you love, develop cool applications. Thank you for um, listening in on this introduction to AppFrame. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.